Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live. In this episode, I want to give you a breakdown of this Note 3 setup. Basically, still experimenting with curve and grease pencil. Um, you can see there's a black dots here, uh, black uh, like spots, and there's also the pink spots here that's kind of animating. The black one is kind of scattered, kind of like a scattered uh, bunch of things, while the pink one is kind of flat. Uh, and you might also notice the pink one has multiple layers and the black one has only single layers so yeah I'm basically ex uh, trying to create grease pencil using curve curve nodes because in the in this blender 4.3 alpha we have curve to grease pencil so anything that's curve um, can be converted into grease pencil and on top of that we have these options instances as layers so if we have instances we can convert it into layers so when i first started with this i i only use a single layer so i turn this off instances as layer i turn it off and so we get something like this right we, i start with a with a star I got a bunch of nodes happening here, like including this interesting one, like simplified curve. Resample, I can turn this off for now. So let me show you. Okay, we can start with the simple stars, for example. We can, you know, adjust the inner and outer radius, twist, whatever. If the twist goes too far, it's become like overlapping curve. And the grease pencil doesn't quite like that. But if you want that, try. Um, from here we can kind of break the edges using curve to mesh. We don't need to do this and back to curve. Uh, and then there, we got this subdivided curve. This is quite new. And I have this set spline type to nerves. If I turn this off, it's going to be kind of ragged edges like this. If I turn it into nerves, it's become kind of smooth, like kind of like a doodle. I kind of like this. And here I'm playing with the noise just to add some variations. So we get a star or we can have like a furry thing like in the anime Ghibli. Yeah, that's the idea. Anyway, I resample the curve. So sometimes if you get too much complicated, somehow it's kind of overlapping and it doesn't look nice. I just resample it. Anyhow, we have the fur ball, um, and then I use curve to grease pencil, and it becomes grease pencil. And this object is still a grease pencil object; it's not a curve. If you want to bake as a curve, make sure you use a curve type, and then put the grease pencil inside it, and then uh, bake the modifier, apply the modifier. That that way you get the real geometry. So if you have, if you want to have multiple grease pencil and then the layers for animations you use the instances as layer so in in order to do that of course we need to have a bunch of instances so let's switch to that okay switch to that mode now we have a bunch of things okay let's say yeah we can have 10 scattered randomly so they are all they are all scattered on different space you know like 3d space but if we, if you will notice if i bake this it's going to be flat i don't know why but just keep going for now so so we can have a uh, instance uh, instance curve that's becoming grease pencil but they're gonna be in different layers let's say we if we, make, we make 25 of them and then use this curve to grease pencil with instances as layers and then we set the material here black uh, the material is actually grease pencil material so I try giving different material and then randomize the index it doesn't seem to work but I might come back to this in the next video. 
for now just set the material to black and then I give a black fill here turn off the stroke and we should be good I just duplicate this and then apply apply once I do that of course the geometry node disappear and we got layers 25 layers and I thought we could we could animate this we should be able to animate this normally layers uh, normally with Chris pencil we want to have layers and then we want to animate it animate keyframe on each layers right but it, since this is like layers for keyframing um, I made another geometry nodes here and I call it layer delete so by doing that I think it should be deleting layers and then turning it into animations oh it works on the pink one uh, I don't know why it disappeared on this guy I have to double check but basically it, it takes the grease pencil layer as instances and then deleting the curve and then turning it into curve and then I fill the, the curve with the materials with a pink material so that's why we get this these animations let me check maybe I did something wrong with this guy duplicate it and apply material so uh, use pencil to curve Okay, Chris Pencil to curve layer as instances, fill, curve, set material, ping. Okay, we get that. We get that working. So, file save as. And we want to delete. Delete. Layer delete. Okay, that's my node setup. Delete geometry layer based on selection. If the selection matches time frame index, delete, compare, index. It's kind of like a, there's a bit of kind of like math here, but not that equal invert boolean math okay Oh, instance. Okay, it needs to be set up to as instance. So now it's it's actually working, and they are all in different space, which is interesting. What this guy somehow collects itself. Maybe I did something wrong there. But now you can see the conversion from this pencil that's being generated using curve, and then we put it into layers. And then we bring it back layers as instances if we turn this off actually it's becoming a compound compound curve which is like a kind of nice like an artwork like special artwork but here we got animations uh, what I really want actually to be able to interpolate the curve between frames somewhat so to kind of bring it back into real geometry 
as for now i think we, we i already give you too much information so as long you already know we can do both way curve to grease pencil and then grease pencil to curve just these two nodes kind of interesting especially with these options layer as instances and instances as layer there's uh, some interesting capabilities and it's a little bit complicated at first but since grease pencil itself works with multiple layers there's something you need to keep in mind and then with multiple layers you can delete the layers or bring it back into bring it back into a geometry nodes turn it back into layers and then layers as instances we can delete instances per frame based on the index so we can yeah maybe maybe give it different color material or whatever but There you go, you know, like this is baked into that. So if I decided, all right, I want to have something different, make it 100 frame, generate 100 frame of this, and then apply. So this guy with a pink, so uh, instance, GP into layers into curve. I can instance GP into curve and we get this animation 100 frames animations for this guy. It's kind of like curve showing up at different spot. Yeah, that's basically the point I want to make. We can convert curve into grease pencil and then vice versa. We don't know. I don't know what it is for yet, but I think normally if you grease, you know, with grease pencil, you normally create empty grease pencil and then just start drawing, which is kind of cool in itself. And I want to do more with this guy because we can play with this stroke drawing. We can go, you know, like to different it's basically grease pencil is for drawing in 3d space and it is more powerful in in recent version of blender and i wish i could use vr like apple vision pro or if you have vr uh meta quest i think you can already use blender in vr and then kind of start kind of using grease pencil in 3d and by doing that drawing now in recent Blender, of course, you can convert the grease pencil into curve, which is really cool. If you want to bake this, it, it's not going to work. The, in order for you to bake it, you need to create uh, curve objects and then bring the grease pencil, bring this grease pencil into this guy. And then here, convert, convert grease pencil into curve by doing that you're gonna get real geometry. Yeah, I think that's the idea and then so you can bake it. Convert curve to mesh, okay. Curve to mesh, curve to mesh. There's a lot of conversion happening. Cannot apply constructive modifier. Convert curve to mesh in order to apply. Oh yeah, we need to actually use, instead of using curve, we actually need to use cube geometry. Right, so we want to convert that. That's going to be a thing for an, another video. But in this case, I just want to show you about instance and layers and layers to instance. So we get this type of animations. All right, so yeah, it's fun. It's really kind of a little bit techni technicality on, t on top of grease pencil that's supposed to be simple for drawings. But uh, now we can actually procedurally generate grease pencil using all the curved nodes inside geometry nodes. All right, so yeah, the star thing, the star thing is basic 
just an example we can use star and create interesting things with it anyhow thanks again uh, for watching uh, and i'll see you in the next video thank you bye